and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you were into chaotic, frenetic energy, beauty, horror, a little bit of commentary not about other people because that shit is rude, then I suggest you go ahead and subscribe. Uh, today I have on rings and one of my thumbs is in the thumb hole. The other one is not. How fucking exciting. <laughs> All right, what are we here with today? I have another live declutter happening here. That got weirder than I actually intended it to get. So um, I don't have an excuse for that situation and I can only hope that you will forgive me. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, and also if you would please hit the notification bell so that, that way you get notified every time I pop up live because as some of you may or may not know, uh, I don't like to schedule things sometimes. Lives especially, I never know how I'm gonna feel. So first of all, I wanna say hello to those of you in the chat. Hi, Allie, hi, Sharon, hi, Joyce, hi, Dahlia, hi, Vision of You, hi, Mary. I appreciate y'all for being here. And all the things that you do, by the way, the tweeting and the retweeting, thank you to my patrons, all the goodish. We're about to have a party. Hi, Michelle. All right, so we're gonna start this bad, bad person out. Uh, you know what, I started last time with brushes, so I'm gonna, I think I might go ahead and do, I have like two more brushes, really, okay. Yeah, I have two more brushes that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about because I don't know why I didn't do them last time. Uh, or three, we have three. They all have the same thing in common, but it's this like funky ass shape. All three of them have this like super weird shape that I abhor. And of course this one is another one of those mermaid tail ones. Hi Roman, I hope you are having a good day. <laughs> Hi Millie. <laughs> uh, this is one of the, another ones, but like, again, what we're, where, where, how, look at the top of it. Like, what am I supposed to, I, like mostly what I do is like a, and dot places with it, but it doesn't, I don't, it's not a functional brush. So that's one of the things I do hate about buying brush sets in general. Like just in general, I don't like to buy a lot of brush sets because if, I feel like every brush set has a, a brush where you're just like, who, who, who is this shaped for? Who? So like that, that is weird. Uh, the other one, this one is that I got this. I swear y'all, I'm giving, getting myself in trouble sometimes with some of these new makeup nonsenses. Cause I'll be like, oh, let me try this thing. This is the Real Techniques brush. And as cute as it is, it's like cute, sir. No, 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 you can't have that. You cannot have that. That is not for you. You, no. No, no, no. You got to sit down. You already, nope, nope. You've already gotten sick today. Sit down. Okay, well then you just, okay, stand there. Anyways, there's this brush. <laughs> and I got it. It was a set for real techniques. It's kind of, one, it's kind of scratchy. And two, it is a really, like, look at, like the ends are not even in any way making like an evenness. Hello, baby. Hi. Yes, I want you to hop on down. Well, there we go. Good, baby. All right. The Bo says hello, everyone. <laughs> After he's done knocking all the shit over. Uh, but, like, you can see, like, I'm trying to get it to where hopefully you can see it a little bit. Um, maybe not. But, like, the ends of this brush are, like, all wampa jawed. And so I don't understand, even in the set, I don't think I like really any of the brushes in the set, but you don't understand what exactly, how it's supposed to work for product. Like there's no taper and the brushes just have like the, it's just, it, like who put this together? You know what I, like the bristles are like all these different shapes and I'm just like, what? And it was supposed to be like their trio, like an eye trio. And I'm just like, but what function does this have? None. So that is actually just, you know, goodbye, goodbye. I might actually use some of these for like the tile in my bathroom, in my in my shower. Um, <laughs> and then there's this one, which is, it's soft, it's from Vantage, but the thing is, it doesn't actually work. It doesn't 
pick up product well. And then like, you can kind of see the way it just kind of, I think that it just died and I didn't know that it had a death. Cause you can see how it just isn't really in here very well. I think it died. And this was a brush I actually did take care of properly. So I don't know what happened in this little stem, but it went, things went awry and it just doesn't, it doesn't look, it doesn't go very well. It doesn't work. I can't get it to pick up product. And it just, any way that you lean it, it cause it, because it will just lean if you, Put any pressure on it then you're not actually getting any blend like you don't get any blending going it's just like it's sad so those are the three brushes three brushes yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry i'm sorry no, i'm not just kidding i am who i am as a human okay we're going deeper into the box today i'm sorry <laughs> and i have this High, vital high Vitality, High by Vita Peel Essence from Vanilla Coat. No, no, give that to me. Come here, give it to me, give it to me. Come here, look at me, look at me. I want you to give it to me. What do you have in your mouth? I want to have it. Son, son, come here, baby. Look at me. I can see that it's in your mouth. So sorry, y'all. I can see that it's in your mouth. Come here, baby. What do you have in your mouth? Bo, do you want to do me a favor? And not do that? Can you not do it? You know what? You just go over there. Take it. Take it. Have a good time. Take another little piece of my heart now, baby. Okay, now I've got it. So sorry. If I like, I have to. I I apologize, y'all. My child is. Uh, he's doing the things he does when he's like, I don't feel like I've had enough attention, even though I had all the attention all day. Nope, don't take another thing. Anyway, we have the High Vitality, High by Vita Peel Essence. This is by Benilico. Um, So here's the thing about this. Let me, it just focused on it just a second. I don't have my face. Anyways, I don't use it and I have other essences I like a lot more. And I just didn't feel like this one was doing a lot for me. Like it was originally, but then I got some like better essences, which I'm probably about to show you that next one. And I, this this just ain't it you know what i mean like like it just didn't win it just didn't win the lottery of essence did i finish it i think so i feel like i finished it let's let's see i finished it it's an empty y'all listen i want you to mark this moment uh first of all i want to thank um my friends in skincare, I want to thank um, James for making me interested in buying even more skincare than I was already buying. I want to thank Hiram, you know, for being really, really young. And um, I don't pay attention to his skin advice just because I am an old person, but like Hiram exists. Uh, and I want to thank all of the um, black skincare folks out there because they have just <laughs> really made this possible i'm so sorry okay We're like <laughs> yes vanilla code does make my favorite cleansing balm yes <laughs> so this is actually i did like it though but i used it up because i was like i got better ones but like i said this was like a good place to start for an essence with me um <laughs> in another fun empty <laughs> we also have a completely done peach and lily wild dew treatment essence which did i buy another one yes i did you're damn right i did i bought another one i this is the shit every time i need my skin <laughs> to feel like dewy and moisturized and like sexy and it's such a good layer for like when i put this on it like drenches my skin it's such a good layer and then when I put all the rest of my ish on to make my skin be supple and soft, supple. It's like every time I do that, it just I ugh, ugh, gives me the joys. Really, dude? Are you gonna show your pretty eyes? So try not to look so amused. All right. But this is fantastic. I definitely will repurchase because I did, and I will continue to repurchase. So <laughs> Bo Bear is just like, he's in his, he is in his places. Your dog is getting mad at you for fussing over Bo. He's, I, the weird thing is the amount of people who will talk to me and like, he has such pretty eyes. I literally don't know what to say that because like, I didn't make them. You know what I mean? 
like it's like oh thank you i guess you're welcome you're uh sure i like i feel weird whenever i say thank you because it's like i what <laughs> i'm grabbing a few things here so that i can like have a couple of things at the ready for declutterization because it is disorganized, but I don't want you to be here for 17 years whilst I uh, try to get it together. Another thing in the realm of like, it's like sort of the realm of skincare that I am getting rid of is the Ofra mattifying makeup fixer. So first of all, it is, I don't want to be matte. So that's number one. But the other, the fragrance on this shit is out of this world out of this world. It is so fragrant. It smells just like, let me just spritz it on something right quick. Cause I got little towels, though. I'm sorry that I'm doing this. If it's too powerful, you know, you can always go. Oh gosh, it's died down on this one. It's now more alcoholy than anything else, like an alcoholy smell, but like it is so fragrant. Like that one is, and then this one I didn't even open. It's the rose makeup fixer because as soon as I saw the word rose, it's I their setting sprays. Soon as as soon as I saw the word rose, I was like, mm -mm. and y'all know my impression of like the old British lady and all of that. I, I don't want to smell like that. So I've never even <laughs> opened this one. This one will be decluttered to a friend uh, who might want to try that. So y'all, I'm so proud of myself though. Like I have empties. I have em empties. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, like a little supermodel back back there. See, okay, Sharon. Yeah, that one isn't smelling good. I used to wet, yeah, I use it to wet eyeshadow. Yeah, it is just like very, very fragrant. The Ofra setting sprays, because there's another one that I can't find that I'm trying to, like, I can't remember where I put it, but I'm working on like adding that to my declutter pile because baby, that is an absolute, like, no way know how it does it's not going to work out i feel like the next things the next few things are going to be like some tubular products <laughs> and by tubular i mean they're like in tubes <laughs> not like tubular you know what i mean okay so well first let me do this one because if i just get this out of the way then i'll be good um this is a highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is an old one. It is one of their Mega Glows, or maybe it's a newer one. It's a Mega Glow. However, the shade is just in. I've, ne I've not found any way where this is flattering on me, because it's it's like ghost silver. So it's there's nothing like I can wear it as an eyeshadow, I guess. But like I already have silver eyeshadow, and I'm not gonna keep this for that. So I'm gonna declutter this to one of my friends. Also, that's the other note. I've said this before, don't ask for any of the things. Oh my gosh, Katya, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Cause I feel like, I feel like this was decluttered to me and now I'm gonna declutter it. I, their highlighters, these Mega Go highlight, highlighters are actually really nice, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this one decluttered because I just think it's not, it's not my cuppa, it's not my tea. I'm gonna really need that after like, listen, listen. Car repairs, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> was not a good time. I'll be slowing down on my makeup purchases <laughs> for sure. All right, so now we're gonna get into some lip stuff. So first of all, I have this um, Sugar Rush. This is from Sugar Rush and I, it's a lippy and sprinkle. Here's fun facts, fun facts. Um, it's, I don't really like liquid lips and I've been trying to purge them out. This is a creamy liquid lip and I'm kind of like sh trying to show like it's a very creamy liquid lip. I'm still trying to purge a large amount of liquid lips out of my collection, to be honest, because I don't live for them. I just like right now I have a lipstick and lip gloss. I like that. I like the lipstick and the lip gloss combo. But I find that nine times out of 10, I get that weird like crust there. I know some people call it butthole, but it's not even it, like, it's just, it's you get the lip crust and I don't like it. I don't, I like to call it lip crust because it actually sounds very disgusting to me when you say it that way. And the thing is, it's not even just like 
you this part getting like this it's like you get the little balls like little balls of product it's just very gross maybe it is it's dingleberries you get mouth dingleberries i'm so sorry i'll see myself out no but <laughs> thank you i will get both some cute things he deserves he deserves all the things he is always like, how can he be tired? Anyhow, yeah, so I'm getting rid of this because I just don't, I went, look at that shade. It's like doing that a lot for me. So mm -mm, we gonna let it go. Let her cry. Sorry, uh, I'm not. I always say sorry, even though it's, it's habit from masking. So just let me live my life. Uh, so the next thing we have here is the Anastasia, the ABH Clear Brow Gel. I, um, I'm going to declutter this to my friend. I don't have enough eyebrows to necessitate a brow gel. Just point blank and period. I have hairs right here. And then all of this is, I drew that. Obviously. I, I don't have eyebrows. I don't have, I wasn't blessed with eyebrow hair. I apparently was blessed with a mustache but not with eyebrow hair. So like, I'm gonna go ahead and let this go because I find that there's really no good reason for me to have eyebrow, like brow gel, but I don't have any brows. Like everybody who has brows, whoop whoop to you, whoop whoop to you, baby, but not, not me. Uh, next up, we are going to talk about the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. I feel like, who is this? L'Oreal, L'Oreal. So this, this, is one of those mascaras. I bought this because I was on the hunt trying to find a replacement for the Thrive Mascara. Hey, Rashida. Um, and the thing is, first of all, the wand is like fucking, it's very large to me. Like it feels like a really big wand, like comparatively, like this much of it is as it's in my head. I just feel like it's so big. And then it it's not fiber. Like that was the thing that really made me mad. I'm like, don't call it false fiber lashes if it's not false fiber lashes. Like it barely gave me any, it barely gave, did not give what it was supposed to have given. It didn't give, like I just, I'm so mad. I'm so mad about it. Um, I wanted it to work out, but this was just not good for me. Like I think right now I have on, let me just turn this way and like put my lashes on bow. This is Essence. Uh, there we go. These are my lashes, not false, from Essence. I have, it's the green one. And like, look at the length there. This wasn't even given that. This is, <laughs> Katya, I have hair on my chin. I think we all have weird hairs somewhere and it's okay. We're allowed, we're, we're allowed to have weird hairs if we want, if we want to. If, if you want to have weird, we can have weird hairs. Um, <laughs> hold on one second. I'm doing a quick tweet. So that way I don't get in trouble from people who like or get mad at me. Uh, uh, what is it? Meow. Okay. Now I'm done. So <laughs> That is a that on that. Yeah, the Essence mascaras are just amazing. They they just make me really happy. And I, like, every time I have that one, I'm just like, oh, so, how is it so good and so cheap? But I do have to replace it pretty often, but that's a me thing because my eyes are, my eyes are made of evil. Uh, the next thing we have is going to be the Elf. I feel like there's two of these and I can't figure out where the other one, oh, there it is. The Elf Flawless Brightening Concealer. These are horrific and I, I feel like they need to be thrown into a fire uh, <laughs> because it's that pen type of concealer and it has like the stupid brush and I am uninterested in like going like this and like doing this whole thing. And I don't like, this is where like it pushes out some, I don't like doing that. And also I don't like painting it on like that. There's something about like this that I don't, I don't like, cause I feel like it gets so gloopy and then I always end up having like too much in one spot and I just didn't love it also. It was very like not great for the way that my skin ended up looking. Like I felt like my skin didn't necessarily look 
like concealed. I looked, I felt like it was um, emphasizing texture, wrinkles, and you know, everything's gonna, like most things are going to find a way to sit into my wrinkles because they exist. But like, I just don't like love the shade or the texture or the click penny, uh, the click penniness of it. But if you're a click pen person, then go for it. But I am not. So that's the, that's the, that on that. I am not going to be a fan. Also, I will have some links in the, um, <laughs> in, in the description box and they, um, you know, are probably affiliate links and I make some money off of that. If it makes you feel weird, you know, do things your way. It's wrong, but do it your way. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it is doggo nap time. It is awful. Like that concealer, I just didn't like it. I don't, I have a, I really wish like concealers would just stick to the doe foot. Just stick to the doe foot. It's like, it's fine. Speaking of concealers and doe foot, I feel like I was trying to give this Tarte Hydra concealer like another go because I got like a sample of it. However, <laughs> I just can't. Um, multiple reasons why. The first of which is that it is gray. Like it dries down. There's like this weird gray undertone to it. Like, I don't understand how it got gray and I'm going to show it to you right now. But for me, it just looked like it had a little bit of a grayish undertone to it that I did not love. And I felt like it made me look old and crepey, also creepy. It was the OCC. And it is, it doesn't actually conceal anything. Like the whole point of the Hydra concealer was supposed to be that like, because it's water-based, it's going to be like smoother. But for me, it was just like, yeah, it's water-based, but it just doesn't, it doesn't conceal anything. Like when I had, went to go like trying to, you know, tap it out or whatever, it felt like it mostly just disappeared on you and not in the way where you're like, oh my God, it doesn't look like I'm wearing concealer. It just disappeared in a way where it was like, what, where is the, where is, uh, excuse me, <laughs> sir, madame, <laughs> where is the concealer? It's nowhere. It's gone. You know, forget you then. Forget you. I haven't heard that in so long. So sorry. Moving on, we have a mascara. Uh, <laughs> you're stealing OCC. <laughs> Okay, so good. I feel like I always feel good when other people, yes, Bo's okay, but I was just being Bo. He's taking a nap. He gets like frustrated whenever I do this and then he just starts taking a nap back there. Um, I always feel good when I see that some of y'all agree with me, especially on things that I didn't love because I hate feeling like I'm not good at makeup. <laughs> and so every time I feel like I'm not good at makeup, I'm like, oh, I hope somebody else knows that I hate this. Um, or and somebody else also hated it, so I feel less shitty about it. This is the Milani Dangerous Lynx Mascara. So first of all, the Lynx aren't dangerous. Um, second, I feel like it just, I don't love this wand. It's got like a weird, you know how like um, like a duck, a, a duck dong, a, a, a duck has a, a corkscrew uh, eggplant? There we go. That's what this wand reminds me of. Like corkscrew, yay. And I just felt like it really wasn't doing anything at all for my lashes. And I was like, where's the length? Where's the danger? It didn't exist. It just coated my lashes. And also I felt like it flaked really bad. Um, it was weird. I felt like it was like flaking on me quite a bit. So I just wasn't a fan of this. Uh, and I don't, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm glad that other people hated the health. People are like giving the oh, self-concealing concealer. <laughs> Y'all just be giving you like, oh, it doesn't work and I hate it. Here you go, Ma. I'm sure you want it. <laughs> Flaking. Yeah, so that one flakes. Then I have more liquid lips. See, I told you it's disorganized. We're going to have the Huda, Huda Beauty liquid um, lip, liquid matte, whatever. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. I actually really like this. And it is very much like, I, it's, I know it's liquid and I know it's a matte. I really, really like it. But I've had it for such a long time and it's just time for me to like let, let it go. 
It's time for me to let it go. I've had it for several. And the thing is, I've, I've saved it through several different declutters and then I never use it. Thank you. The wand does have a huge impact on the performance of a mascara, even if it has a great formula. Yes, and there was something, I just don't like the way that the wand was shaped. It didn't, it looked like what they were trying to do was have like, lo, like long and then short spaces so that it would like grab more of your lashes. But I felt like that configuration ended up not grabbing anything unless you like twirled that wand. You had to like twirl it and listen, I, I'm not going to twirl a wand that close to my eye because what I'm uninterested in uh, is stabbing myself in the eye with a mascara wand. Then we have the, the Huda Beauty, which I'm going to say the formula is really nice. Huda Beauty has really nice liquid lip. Um, this one is like extremely creamy and soft, but I've saved this and saved this and saved this and saved this and I don't use it. So it's time for me to just let this liquid lip go, but it's really nice and I really liked it. And I don't love the shade as much anymore, um, but it's nice when I'm trying to like have like a nice, like like a kind of a this moment where I'm like, mm, these are my lips, but better. So I really like this and I would purchase it again. I feel like I'm randomly starting to fall asleep. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to. I was like totally awake when I started this. So the next thing up we have is this like random ass lip gloss. It's called Muse and it's from Julep. And I feel like I got this in some subscription. Like I feel like it was like a lip subscription or something. But if you pull this out, this is what I want to show you. Look at how little product came to the tip of this. So like it is for me... I felt like I was having to, cause like I have substantial lips, you know what I mean? I have a lot of real estate in the lipple area to cover. And I felt like I was having to work really hard to just get some out and onto my lips. I felt like I had to dip in like five times just to get any product onto the wand. And I felt like I was like dipping in and dipping out and dipping in and dipping in and out and then in and then out. But it just wasn't good. And so I just hate, I, like I see it, I did it again. There's nothing, and also I do believe that this is a um, plumping lip gloss, which I don't need. Uh, I'm glad for everybody who does, but I put my hand up on your hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. So I just, I, I don't need it in my life. I never reach for it. I, I have some really good ones from Milani. I have some good gloss from um, Midas. I have several different brands that I have good Oh, so you used to love Julep and it's hit or miss. This was a miss for me. I was like, it's a no for me, dog. So I don't like that. Then I had this like random mascara, like eyeliner, excuse me. Again, beauty boxes. This is, <laughs> so this, it's supposed to be the insanely intense tattooed waterproof eyeliner. It's a mini from Scone, I guess. Does it, has anybody ever heard of this? I found it and I don't, I don't like it because I felt like it's just like, it's the fat part. And I, maybe it's because it's the mini, but it's like, I don't love the way that the pen is actually shaped. Like there's something about the shape that when I'm trying to draw it like on my eye and like an upward motion, this part here kept like, dragging onto my face and then it would ruin my wing literally every time. And I was like, ner, ner. he is an angel right now when he's not throwing up on my carpet. He's fine though. <laughs> he got stressed out cause I did, I filmed a new spot and he was not ready for that. And he was like, are you leaving me? I'm like, no. <laughs> so I have a few more things I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I feel like did I just add this? Did I not? Did I do this one last time or no? Maybe not. I feel like maybe I didn't. I, I, I swear I like arranged this. Anyway, just in case, the Patricia Bright Revolution um, face palette. I uh, know that I did the um, other one, the um, Jen Gerard, the Gerard one, Gerard Cosmetics. Um, as cute as this is, I just had to realize I never reach for this. And again, I have face palette. I don't absolutely love the blush. Like that's an okay shade, but it wasn't like anything to write home about. Like I liked it initially when I got it, but the blush is fairly dry. It's a fairly dry formula. It's 
not really nice and it actually kind of makes me look a little bit ashy and then the bronzer while the shade was nice again this was just like another it was just kind of dry and then the highlighter is you guessed it dry so everything was just like a little bit dry and i don't love this shade of highlighter because again like i like it's blinding from the side but as soon as you get it into the front, it's like this kind of weird ash pile. So like you turn and it's like, oh, hey, and then like, you know, but also I'm stopping traffic and I don't care. But then in the front, it's just like, so like head on, it doesn't look good to me. Like, I know that I probably have that effect right now, but like, I don't care. I just don't love it. And so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because I know I don't need it. I'm going to see if a friend of mine uh, wants to try it out, but you know, I don't have anything from Tom Ford, actually. I don't have a lot of bougie makeup. Like, I have a little bit of bougie makeup, but I don't have a lot. All right, so, what is this? I'm like looking at this one, what is this? Oh my goddess. I have been meaning to declutter this for an attorney. This is how old, like this is how long this has been set in here because this was when I first started really moving my makeup. Y'all, this is a Morphe palette, a Morphe face palette. How have I not, how have I not declared this? I got this in, I think it was like an Ipsy, I feel like. It may have been, yeah. I tried to use it, like, cause there's literally one shade that I could even attempt to use for a bronzer. And then I hate the highlighters. Like Big Bang is just like regular ass gold. And then you're gonna have Venus, which is ashy. Then you have um, Mirage, which is like, it's okay. It does have shine on it. Like that's work appropriate. And then you have like BM. So like all of these were just kind of like really close iterations of each other to where I didn't feel like there was enough differentiation. And I, that is, it's a no from me, dog. I just don't, like, I had that for so long and I kept trying to convince myself that I could try to find some way to use it because I was, again, getting myself stuck in that mentality of like, well, it's like I, I spent money on it and like, I should, like, even though I didn't buy the actual palette, like I bought the, you know, the beauty box, I was still stuck on the idea that I had to like, you know, use it because I, I said, yeah, Sherry, I'm still alive. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, Mark Jacobson, like, um, I have some Armani, I have some, hey, Jennifer, um, I have, what's the other one, Mark Jacobs, oh, oh, Pat, Pat McGrath, so, like, that's the thing, is I just, I had to get rid of that, I'm so sorry, like, it just wasn't my cuppa, oh my gosh, I have, like, so much sparkle on my hands, and I'm, like, trying to, like, remove it. Ow, ow, ow. I'm checking on him to see how he's doing with his sleep. He's like, I'm sleeping. I think that's why I'm sleeping because I think he's like making me sleepy. Um, oh, also speaking of Pat, I had a whole slew, I feel like of these little, yeah, here we go. Of Pat like lipsticks and they were like, I feel like they were mattes, the matte trance. I got a little like, is, did I get all of them? Got a little, a tiny little gift set of these. And I need to tell you that I don't like them. I don't like them. Um, they are hard as a, <laughs> thank you. They are hard as a rock. Uh, I, I don't know what why, but they're very hard. Um, and it's weird, like now it's being like soft. Well, this one's being soft. But like, I felt like they were hard. I felt like they just didn't really do, they didn't give what I wanted them to. And I feel like I have these shades and they're much easier. There we go, let me just circle it. When they go onto my lip, they don't go on like this. That's so weird. I just feel like that one was hard, but anyways. Here's the three shades right here. I don't know if I'm doing a good job of showing them to you. 
But I just feel like I don't like minis, especially when it comes to lip stuff. Now, I really, like there are times where I feel like I do like them and I will always flip flop on it because at one point or another, I will be like, I love minis because it's a great way to try it. And then another one, I'm like, I hate it because it clutters up everything. There's nowhere for me to really store them. And I like, I end up not reaching for them. And then when I do, by the time I do, they're a little bit hard and crusty. So, oh, Lauren, poor baby. So, I mean, and like, here, I don't even really love the packaging. I know some people like this, but I don't, for some reason, I just don't like the lips on the outside like that. I'm going to hell. All right, so I just don't love them. I'm gonna let them be out of my life. I wanna try some full size Pat McGrath stuff, but I just haven't yet. Um, I should do that. Going right back into lips, I have this. So this is um, the NARS Power Mat, and it's in You're No Good. I got this in a beauty box as well. Here's the thing. Um, this is not a fun product because you use just a smidgen and it goes really, really far. And I've saved it multiple times, like this little dot here. I've saved it from multiple declutters because like, no, but it's so pretty when I get it on, like da, 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 da. And I have to, it's more of a lip stain than anything else. Like if you actually just tried, because like that's just that little dot, y'all. It's more of a lip stain than anything else, but it just, I never reach for it. I just don't. I don't. Ooh, yeah, second coffee. It is Saturday. Saturday in Australia. <laughs> Sunday, wait, Sunday in Australia, because today is Saturday in the US. I don't even know what day it is, moving on. But like, I just, I don't love it. Um, it's a pretty color, it's a pretty shade, but if I had to be real with myself, I'm never actually going to use it. I guarantee you though, that the second that I declutter it, I'm gonna be like, oh, I wonder, I need a hot pink, and I'm, I'm gonna look for this and be like, oh yeah. But I'll just have to get another hot pink. I try to keep my makeup in a position to where it's not. I don't have a bunch of stuff that I'm rarely, if ever, using. So that's a me thing. You don't have to have it. Um, I'm like, you don't have to do the same thing I do, obviously. I am, like, using the stanky spray. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, like, that's what it looks like to mattify. Because I think it's got, like, birchwood or something in it. And that's one of the things that they use, which hazel something to help mattify. I do like the clear window, Joyce. The clear window, window like for to show your lip, the lip color is awesome. I just don't like the shade and I don't love the formula. I'll be honest about both of those things. The shade and the formula, not my cup of tea. I do not love them. Uh, looks like I do have, I have a shit ton of singles, which I think I'm going to try to do all those little singles. Not a shit ton, just like a small ton. I think I'll try to do all the singles by themselves. We're gonna finish out with like two more mascaras and um, two pieces of skincare, I think. That's what we're gonna finish with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there another shitty brush here? There's just another one of those brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this because I keep, this is, but this one is from, I think, Farah, and it doesn't, it's shaped like hot garbage and it doesn't blend very well. Um, and it actually kind of hurts your eye. It's, it's not, it's, it's not friendly. I got this in a beauty box. <laughs> Next up, we are going to talk about the blue, the essence lash princess in blue, the false lash effect. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's why I'm getting rid of it. It's waterproof. I don't like waterproof mascara. Yes, we can talk about the hills. We can talk about the hills, Miranda. If we're going to talk about the hills, I'm going to need to like remove, like I'll be right back after I'm done. <laughs> You're like, so in, <laughs> we can, because I'm actually almost finished with this. And then we'll have about 20 minutes to talk about the hills. Uh, and then I'll go, like, I'll go grab like um, a wine or something. But I don't like waterproof mascara. Uh, I have really sensitive eyes. Waterproof mascara uh, is the devil for me. The devil. Uh, because like if I, I have to be able to get mascara off fairly easily, especially because like I have a tendency, I can feel literally every like piece of dust that like, not literally, but it feels like I can feel every piece of dust 
like land on my eyelash and I don't like waterproof mascara because when I have to like pluck something from my lash, waterproof mascara, I just end up pulling out like 70, like all of them. And then I have like a bald spot in the middle and I'm not a fan of having a random bald spot in the middle of my lashes. So waterproof mascara is the devil. Hey, Celestial Gutter. Next up, I finally decided to go ahead and actually declutter this. I talked about this in like a box and flops last year, I feel like. And it's the Elevation Time Stops Repair Your Youth Milk Cleanser. I don't like milk cleansers. I'm so sorry. Like, I thought I could use it. I was like, oh, I can just use it for, like, when I'm doing these things. And I might, because, like, I can use it to kind of get this off of my hand, right? Um, so I might leave it here, like, this is my declutter, but, like, it's decluttered, but not in my... Does that make sense? It's decluttered. I'm not going to use it in rotation. Howsomever, I will use it when I'm doing like live swatches and stuff. So I'll keep it for that, but I'm like decluttering it from my collection, if that makes sense. Are we on the same page here? Yes. Um, I just don't like milk cleansers for my face. Don't like it. I, I don't, I don't like it. Every time I've had any, like I used to like it a very long time ago and then that time passed. I, I hit like 30, 738 and I was like I don't like it anymore um so oh really you used to work for a skin and makeup store and their mascara was not waterproof because of the sensitivity the waterproof proofing agents cause yes um there are some waterproof mascaras that have actually like made my eyes water and like so I just very quickly learned not to not to do it Yes. Okay. I feel, I'm feeling seen. I'm feeling seen. You don't like waterproof mascara either. You cannot get that off of your eyes without murdering your eyeballs. I am feeling seen. Yes. <laughs> okay. We have three more things and then it's time for the hills. Uh, the next thing is the Voluminous Million Lashes from L'Oreal. This is yet another thing, another thing where I was in my pursuit of trying to find uh, replacement for Thrive. There is no replacement. Another thing though, I'm going to tell you that I really hate about L'Oreal is their wands. Um, because like, here, I'm going to show you like the way that they do, like they bend a little, like, I don't like it. I feel like it's always just going to like fucking break. It's going to break. And I don't love that. Uh, and this wand is just like, I don't know what it's supposed to do. Like it's, it's got a bunch of little spikes and it's shaped this way. I, I do not have voluminous million lashes, but here's the thing you do can, like you do can, you can kind of use both of those together and it gives you an okay effect, but I'm not going to keep both of them so that I can use them together for an okay effect when I have this effect. This is so cool. This is why I love having bow. One of the many reasons, but I have this effect with the green essence. So like, why, why? So like, there's no reason for it. And we have one more lippy. This is the tartiest, tart, tartiest, tartiest. I could never say it. I can, cause I can't decide is it tartist or tartiest. Tartist. We're gonna move on. Tartiest. I move on. Okay. Their lip paints, and I feel like I was one of the only people who liked their lip paints. Like no one liked them except for me. And, <laughs> but it's super old. Mistakes were made. It's very old. I liked the shade too. Cause it gave me very much like, I like the, the here's the reason I like this so much. I like the lip paints because it made it look like I had lip injections and I don't have lip injections, but I would just wander around like taking pictures like this all day. Like, <laughs> so I just like, I really liked it. I'm the only one who liked the lip paint. This was in front row. Very pretty. I love the shade. Uh, but at the same time, I was just like, I like, this is old. It stinks. It smells bad. It smells like all of my bad decisions, um, <laughs> which are many. Uh, and then finally, we have the um, Bright and Tight Clinical Anti-Aging Eye Serum for dark circles and age spots. Here's the thing, I like this product, but I, I see, okay, tartiest. See, I say tartiest. Tartist, tartist, tartistist, tart, tart, tartistist. 
Okay, now I'm getting messed up. <laughs> like I'm like, I'm losing it. <laughs> I actually really like this product. Howsomever, um, my ADHD, I can't add this in because I have to wait. And nine times out of 10, when I am doing my nighttime skincare, I am too tired to wait five minutes for this to work. Like, because you had to, it's, a, it's an interesting consistency. Oop, I wonder if it's going to do it. Do I have it the right way? Yeah. Do I have it the right way? Did I remember how it works? Yes? No? Ah, I don't know how it works. I think it's clogged. Anyways, I guess that's it for you. <laughs> it's clogged. I liked it a lot though. Hold on. Let me let me dip a finger in it. <gasps> let me see if I can get anything to like kind of poke through it. You know what? I'm about to make mistakes that I don't want to make again. But it was like this interesting, like kind of thick paste, like um consistency and I was like cool 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 um and you would slather it on oh oh there it is it came out uh you would slather it on there's the crust part Dawn and then it would oh god bless oh wow okay that oh god oh nope texture oop oop I can't hold on oh nope hold oop, hold please please hold huh. Huh. okay okay we're good like a part of it came out and it was like heart it was like because it was hard in the little thing. And I can't, I could not with that. I'm so sorry. It touched my skin and I felt, ugh. Okay, I'm okay. Um, and uh, nope, nope, nope. Even that consistency isn't working for me. It's old, it's old, it died. It died on the vine. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna move. It was a good product while it was still alive. It, so it's good that I'm letting it go. I liked it. I did like it. I just didn't have the patience. You would like put it under there and then it would like be like, to your eye and then you would rinse it off. And then there was a serum that you put on underneath like afterwards. And then it was like kind of helping to like temporarily relieve you of some of your wrinkles and all that stuff. I like to use it a little bit when I was trying to look like a little bit fresher when I wasn't getting like sleep or whatever. And that is gonna be the declutter portion of this party. I can't even look at that, that's so gross. Nope, nope, that's a nope, no party. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. I like. I was like, uh, uh. Lauren. I hope I answered your question. It's supposed to help, like, brighten and tighten, like, really just tighten and remove. You see, I, I have these like really fine lines here. Well, they're not that fine, but I have these like lines here. It helps to remove those. It's like okay. How deep is your love? So anyway, that is today's portion. We still have. And I'm still adding to this box because I couldn't add to it because it was so full, but we still have like this much left. So there's still quite a bit in here. Oh gosh, wow. So I will definitely be back on another Saturday to, to talk about, to declutter, to declutter. Now give me one second. I'm going to leave y'all in the capable hands of Bo whilst I grab an adult beverage. And then we're going to have, Close this up so I remember not to put anything back in it by accident and take this with me. And then we're going to talk about the hills. So give me approximately two minutes, two minutes, seven minutes, two, seven minutes, two, two minutes. I shall, I shall retard. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Try not to wake him up and I'm doing everything to wake him up. Okay, so thing one, before we get started on talking about the hills, whoop, 
I do want to have a small toast to my car and all of the money spent on repairs. To you, car. May you get me back and forth to the job that I'm going to hate. Well, all right. <laughs> Bo is so, he's like, y'all, I love him so much. Like, look at how sweet he is. And he snores. If y'all are lucky, if we're here long enough, we may run into like when he gets really into his like going to sleep thing and he like sticks his little tongue out. He's like, that's that's it. Um, oh, I don't have a job yet. <laughs> but when I have one, I can now drive to it in my own car and not depend on my mother. <laughs> So the hills. I watched, I binge watched all of the first season of the hills, dot, dot, new beginning, that new beginnings, the hills, dot, dot, new beginnings, not the old hills with Lauren Conrad, the new hills. We're going to kind of, we'll play a little bit with this. We have 30 minutes. We'll just talk about the hills. First of all, I really didn't realize until watching The Hills, The New Beginnings, how mean everybody was to Heidi about Spencer. Listen, I know Spencer's weird guy. And I did not like Spencer back in the day. I was like, mm -mm, I don't like Spencer. Spencer is, you know, he be, but everybody was mean. Everybody was mean. People like Lauren had a history of, and if you think for one second, if you're like, oh, Lauren Conrad, Elsie, go back to the very first episode of Laguna Beach, okay? I'm gonna need you to go back there and I'm going to need you to hear how Lauren introduces Kristen. Cause she even says, this is Kristen. She thinks she's like hot. And she's like, well, I mean, she is, okay? And she's like, but this is her boyfriend, my best friend, Steven. Okay. And then she says, you know, he's like something about how he's with Kristen, but she's trying to get him to change her mind. Elsie was problematic from the jump. People, I was always mad when people were not in Kristen's corner. Well, well I promise I, I'm going to move back around. But like that always made me mad because people were like, Kristen, da, da. I'm like, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Elsie was actively trying to break up a happy home. Actively. Go back and watch. Your memories aren't what you think. That, like, I never liked her, but like, listen, actively. She was always trying to get with Steven, even when Steven was with Kristen. And she was a mean girl. She was a mean girl. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I love... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sherry, I'm gonna have to like, I have to have a real job. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I haven't found one yet, but I'm gonna have to have one because this does not pay my bills yet. So like, until it pays my bills, I'm gonna have to, you know, get out there. And I've been trying to get out there, but it hasn't been easy. Cause they're like, do you mind getting paid $9 an hour and some crumbs? And I'm like, I cannot do that. So then, if you even go look at how unsupportive Elsie was to Heidi the entire time that Heidi was dating Spencer, just would not ever give any quarter, would not be kind, would not be friendly. Like just, it just, I feel like she was always so bitter. I feel like she was a member of the BBC. For those of y'all that don't know, that's the Bitter Bitch Club. So I felt like she was just always bitter and embittered and mean. And like, even when your friends are dating, unless they're the friend, unless they're dating somebody who is actually abusive, if you don't like them, just 
make it known just let your friend know i don't like them but also don't make it such a fucking ordeal like didn't go to her wedding it was just a whole mess i did not like it because now if you watch the new beginnings you end up seeing that like heidi and spencer are still together heidi and spencer are still together and you know what else i also don't appreciate how mean we were to heidi about all her plastic surgeries Okay, I don't agree with her doing as many as she did in that one day because it seemed like it was really painful and hard on her. But Heidi was beautiful before and she was beautiful after. I don't like the way people like were about Heidi and her surgeries. It was just, I didn't like it. Spidey is still going strong. They have a beautiful baby, bouncing baby boy who they co-sleep with. And I find nothing wrong with that. I never thought I would have anything and they sleep with baby in, the, in, in their bed. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I feel like there's a lot of people, obviously I don't have kids, but I would say that I think that there is this weird thing where we've like, just forget that there was like a time before children had like an entire room to themselves. And like, that was normal. Like co-sleeping was normal, <coughs> excuse me. And yes, they have a child. <laughs> Y'all are saying, <laughs> But like, yeah, they have a beautiful baby. His name is Gunner. He sleeps at like Heidi has stayed with her man, and he even talks about it. He talks about how like she was always there in his corner, loving him, even when they were broke. The only thing I really don't love about Spencer is how much he still wants to be famous. I would like him to let that go, but Heidi keeps that relationship going steers the ship. She's always just like, she steers the ship, keeps everything moving in the right direction, keeps them from going broke again. Like she's on, she's on top of that. And they co-sleep, which apparently a lot of people, I guess, have like talked shit about them doing, which I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I feel like People as a general rule, just like the comfort of sleeping with other people, regardless, like we do. You have like, has anybody ever had like a cuddle friend? Just me? Okay, moving on. And then like I have Bo, like it's not like when he has to like overnight at the bed or anything, it's very upsetting for my psyche that I have to just like lay in the bed all by myself. I'm like, oh, this is weird. Like at first it was nice, but like it's, it's nice. So like, it's fine. Hey, rat. So I think it's fine. I find it is it is perfectly acceptable for them to be doing that. But the baby's cute. Um, and here I am rooting for Spidey. I almost had, like shed like a little bit of a tear because they renewed their, they did a whole wedding and a bachelorette party again for their 10 year wedding anniversary because Heidi didn't get to have a bachelorette party the first time she got married because everybody was bitter. The whole BBC was happening. And so she didn't get to have she didn't even have a bachelor. This time she has one. It's a good time. And then she and Spencer like renew their vows. It's so friggin' cute. And they're like, tear. It was, it was adorable. Okay. I was, I was here for that. I was, I, I was enamored. I was like, y'all, I, I got a, a, a little bit verklempt. Team Spidey. I don't love the crystals. I don't love the whole thing that they do with the Pratt Daddy crystals, but. May they do well. May they continue to prosper. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. Parenting has been a topic that has people giving all sorts of unsolicited advice. Yes. I would say, thank you. Co-sleeping is only a bad thing in the Western world. It truly is. I feel like a lot of, like, we do a lot of weird things in our culture here, in, especially in the West. Like, we do a lot of weird things. Like, I don't think we really, like, conceptualize the idea that you have a tiny human and you raise them all the way up to 18 and then you essentially shove them out of your house into the world to like fend for themselves. Doesn't make any sense. And the thing is, it wasn't always like that until capitalism really got, because we've been capitalist, right? But, but once capitalism got a real foothold on this country, like a real foothold, like we just started shoving our children out. There was a period of time where your kids just stayed in your house for until like they got married. And now it's like, once that, pass by and capitalism really got it. it was just like well you're 18 goodbye get out and like that was it like you just you're supposed to just survive on your own like i'm not like i do not i don't want to be kicked from the nest i just i want to stay in the nest so anyway <laughs> so i'm team spidey all the way audrina 
first of all, first of all, immaculate, immaculate. Audrina looks stunning. Also, another side note, listen, get your tea ready because I'm about to spill it. The star of the hills, dot, dot, new beginnings, the confessional filter. Y'all, <laughs> they have in the confessional filter, okay, <laughs> their skin smoothed, just like, whoop. Because then like when they go in between, like them doing their confessionals and talking just like one-on-one -on -one to the camera and then show them like in a real life shot, you're like, oh, <laughs> it's like that Snapchat filter effect. It's it, That is the star of the show. But Audrina, with or without the filter, looks beautiful. So sweet. Her hair is gorgeous. She's just giving all the like, that like, she has that smiley mouth, you know what I mean? She has a perpetually smiley mouth. And like, that's still there. Her teeth are still so cute. I like her teeth. I'm sorry. I know it's weird. Don't, please don't come for me. Um, her teeth are still so cute. I like... Audrina is the diversity of the cast. Okay. I know y'all are going to like come, for, come at me for this, but like in that culture, diversity is brown hair. So she has the brown hair. She is diverse. So like, that's where we are on the hill. And y'all, when they brought back that turd, Justin Bobby. First of all, he's a grown man. Can we call him by his real last name, which I can't pronounce? Oh, wait, never mind. That's why. That's why we don't call him that. We're just going to call him Justin because he is a grown ass man. And I cannot, in good conscience, refer to a gr grown ass man as Justin Bobby. I just can't do it. Something about that, like, disturbs my my soul. Like, my spirit, my soul, like, every part of it. I'm like, I cannot call this grown man two first names. I just can't do it. So, like, he's back. Same shenanigans, same shenanigans. Don't, I, I'm never going to like him. I don't care what anybody said. I'm never going to like him. I don't care. He is, he always sends mixed signals to Audrina. Every time he shows up, he just throws out all these mixed signals. And then he has the nerve to get some big chested girlfriend. Very upsetting. Like I'm mad. Oh, I love all y'all. Like, look at this. <laughs> yeah, we are going to, like, a lot of us are getting back in the nest. We're like, let me just, let me just get back in the nest with you. Um, the only reason I really can't get back into the nest is because of self, self time. Anyways. Um, <laughs> So, Justin's back. He's still the same. I don't feel like he really grew up much. Like, we can fight on it all we want to, but he didn't really grow up much. He is still the same. And now, and Audrina has a, has a daughter, and she, like, had such a tumultuous, awful marriage. And I feel like, y'all, a, a toast to Audrina for getting out of a shitty relationship with a horrible human. toast. The only other thing I will say though, is that like, you can tell that all these, all these, all these ladies spent a lot of time in the sun because they have that bespeckled sun chest. Do you know what I'm talking about? The bespeckled sun chest because they like, they did not use sunscreen. So that's fine. <laughs> now, Whitney has a tragedy, but the thing is, I feel like Whitney Port she's just kind of always there. And I feel like she had this tragedy that was awful. And, but I feel like that that was a moment for us to learn like more about Whitney and focus more on Whitney. I feel like Whitney was always like kind of like Whitney shows up every once in a while to like relay information and then like gone. And then they just never like I producers, of the hills dot dot new beginnings i need for y'all to like show us whitney 
because you got you gave her an entire show still don't know who whitney is i need more oop 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 there it is got you got you bad thing so anyway i i just don't know i felt really horrible for her though but i like it was just awful. I'm not gonna not gonna say exactly what it was like right here right now because it could trigger some people. But it was awful. I felt really bad for her. I just really want her to like have her own storyline that's like interesting, and I get to know her. Like not like not storyline, but like storyline. I want to get to know her. I want to get to know Whitney Port or whatever her new last name is now. Also, I don't love that her husband's name is Timmy and she calls him as such. He's a grown man. He's a grown man. There's something I don't like that either. Ah. Uh, I don't like it. His name is Timmy. He's grown. I can't. Okay, so we're gonna move past that. Then um, let's see. What oh, the real drama is Stephanie Pratt, Spencer's sister. Apparently, she's been living in the UK for however long. She's awful. She's just kind of an awful person. She like around, like it's not even gaslighting. She just stirs up trouble. She like makes, makes drama like everywhere she goes. And it doesn't make like, cause like Brody Jenner and his wife, Caitlin, His wife's name is Caitlin. It's very scandalous. His ex-wife, I guess now. But his wife's name is Caitlin, which is his mother's name, I guess. I guess. His, his other mom's name. I don't know how we're saying this these days, so please don't like get mad at me. Caitlin Jenner is his mom, and then he also has a wife, and his wife is her name is Caitlin, who she's trying to change this man. She's trying, she was trying to like get him to have babies. He was like, baby, no, I'm still young and successful or whatever. And I'm just trying, what does Brody Jenner do? Apparently he spins, he's a DJ, whatever. Here's what I'm gonna tell you about Brody Jenner. Is he somewhat attractive? Yes, but Brody Jenner is the kind of guy, he he is what I would refer to at, as a vamplay, okay? Vamplay, what is a vamplay, Audra? A vamplay is someone only in the dark, baby, only in the dark. And like, I would tell no one, not ever that I hooked up with him. He's somebody that like, if I hooked up with Brody Jenner, I would tell literally no one, I would want no one to know that we hooked up in any way, shape or form. Like you could, I, you, I would sneak out. It would be like, I would wait for him to like, go to the bathroom too long or like, I don't even really want him to fall asleep in his bed. I literally, just want him to go into another room and then I'm going to like, just leave. You know what I mean? Just, just skedaddle. Like he is somebody that you don't even fully disrobe for because you know that you want to escape. You know that you want to just, you, you know, like this is a skirt up situation. Keep your top on, you know, skirt up. Um, and the undies to the ankle. This is not a full disrobe. This is leave most everything on. Skedaddle, skedaddle on it. Just get out. Like he's going to go. Like I'm going to go to the bathroom. And you're like, okay, and skedaddle. Like vampire only at night, only at night. And then deny, deny, deny. I would never want anyone ever to know that I hooked up with Brody Jenner. I know, Audra, he's famous. Don't care. I don't want anyone to know. You could literally have a tape of us, right? And I would deny that it was me. I would be like, it's not me. That's not me. And they'd be like, Audra, this is this is you on the tape. I'd be like, no, it's not me. You don't even have a face there. And then they would be like, well, what about this part? This is your face, is it not? I'd be like, it is not my face. That is not me. I did not. That's not me. And be like, is this, you know, is this your fingerprint or like, I would literally, like, they would be fighting. I'd be like, that, that tape is doctored. It is not me. And then they would get it authenticated and be like, well, it's not a doctor tape. This is your face. I'd be like, it wasn't me. I would be shaggying my way. I would be more shaggy than shaggy my way out of that. I'd be like, it's not me. And they'd be like, well, isn't this your exact tattoo? You know what? People are weird. People like to copy me. That's not me. I would never, I would never. 
Mm -mm. Not that a white man. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would never. I would literally like back back pedal so far out of that. By the way, that is a joke <laughs> from TikTok. If you haven't seen those like audios running around, that's why it's funny. I'm sorry. But like I would I would never. Like he absolutely not. No. And I also like I oh god. Oh, the very thought of anyone knowing that I'd ever hooked up with him would send me into a tailspin. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would just be like, who am I as a person? And I would need like five therapists to fix that. <laughs> Thank you, Julius. It is from a parallel universe. <laughs> I love all y'all who are just like, <laughs> Yes, like you don't, <laughs> you just don't, like you just don't, like Brody Jenner is just like, ugh, ugh, I would never, I would, and I felt like that in the day. I was mad when I thought Kristen was bagging him because I was like, Kristen, please don't, please don't. He's just don't. Because he's just, he's, you know, like I feel like I said everything without saying, he's just. And it's, he has like finger tattoos on one hand that are hideous, by the way, like a lot of them are hideous. And like, if he were going to like, you know, get a, I would be like, don't use that hand. I don't use, <laughs> use your good hand. <laughs> Moving away. Um, <laughs> multiple therapists working together, coordinating daily. Yes, like, no. I could not, <laughs> the way that I would be trying to scoop a backpack, backpedal my way out of a situation where anybody ever knew that I hooked up with Brody Jenner is high. Like that is some, I would never, never, oh, no. And I feel like it's not good. I feel like it's a situation that's like only like it's good for like maybe like if I were going to do such a thing and I was I was willing to engage in that part of like I feel like it was only f for the first minute and 15 seconds like the first minute and 15 seconds and then after that it's like this is still happening do you know what I mean like <laughs> It's just bad. Anyway, Brody has a lot of problems <laughs> and his wife. And he talks on his podcast about how him and his wife, I guess, have an quote unquote unconventional marriage, expecting all of those people not to talk about it. But his wife has like no backbone. Like literally she gets upset. She's like, Brody, I just don't like the way everybody <laughs> is talking about me. Like all these bitches are always like, talking about me behind my back. And I'm like, you heard them talking. You didn't walk into the room and be like, what you got to say? I'm right here if you have any questions. Hello, my name is Caitlin. I am Brody. I can't even say it, moving on. Not even kidding. I can't even say it like I am is kidding. I, oh my God, Sherry. the shame, not even of the hookup, but of the spin a night. Like I spent a night with Brody Jenner. I slept in his crumbled bed. No. Oh my God, could you imagine his toes touching your toes? Oh, I am so sorry. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Why am I so repulsed by that? 
<laughs> I'm so glad that I have a channel that's like small enough for this man to never know that I am just slandering him over here like, it's disgusting. Um, <laughs> Like I'm positive that I like I like I don't think that he's unattractive. I just think that he's gross. I feel like he might not wash his legs. I feel like he doesn't wash his legs. I feel like he doesn't wash it between his toes. He's he's that kind. Of, I just I he probably doesn't wash his hands enough. I don't like it. Like, like because a lot of men don't be washing between their toes. And they have like years of sock fuzz built up in there. So sorry. <laughs> Listen, that would be like the worst. It's like having Brody Jenner slide into my DMs, be like, hey, and I'd be like, oh. And then I just start playing the music. <laughs> was it me? <laughs> Would I climb Mount Everest? No, I'm black and there's no reason to. I have enough excitement. If I knew absolutely no one would ever know under zero circumstances and I was like, okay with penetration for this time, then and it was at like a place that I knew was clean, like a, like a, and I got to eat food before and have a few shots before, but still like be able to consent. And it was where I have to have my face in his face, then yes. That was a lot of stipulations. <laughs> there are so many stipulations. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Sherry, are you serious? Oh my God. I feel like there were so many stipulations to like, <laughs> I, Lauren, I have like a whole dossier. <laughs> like this is our ND. <laughs> this is our NDA and it'd be like, you cannot, you can't even say my name. If you know somebody else who has my name, you can't say their name. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm literally just sitting here like if you see somebody who even looks remotely like me don't wave like so he has a wife the Malibu fires I forgot all about those like how did I forget that well there's a lot going on but I forgot about them. the Malibu fires he says he was supposed to be going to Vegas for like I don't know what they were doing in Vegas they were just partying in Vegas. I can't remember. But he ends up not being able to go because of the Malibu fires and he stays there and he takes care of his house like some kind of moron just spritzing it down with a, a hose, like an actual hose. And while that's happening, they're in Vegas and Audrina and Stephanie are just getting after it. And listen, Audrina both tells the truth. She, like she doesn't lie, right? Because she told Brody what was going on, uh, like between like that basic, because she was. Stephanie was sitting there like, oh my God, are we going to keep beating the dead horse already? Like, can we just like have fun in Vegas? And like everybody else is like actually worried about Brody because they're like, Brody's out there fighting this fire, like da 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 da. And she's like, we're in Vegas, we should have fun. And everybody's like, we really can't have fun. Like, we came here for Brody and he isn't here. So, like, ugh. so Audrina tells the conversation to Brody. Brody gets mad and he, gets way out of line with like getting after Stephanie it, way out of line. Like he had to be held back. It was bad. He is like, he, he seems to like have this thing where like whatever he does, everyone just forgives him because like his last name's Jenner. So then 
And he gets forgiven. Like Spencer forgives him. Stephanie, I guess, forgives him. Doesn't even matter. He's just like Brody generating it up. That's a new phrase. Now I'm going to say that whenever I'm like being like kind of like slightly dirty and like, like, and by dirty, I mean like physically dirty. Like I didn't really take a shower. My armpits smell just like a little bit. And like my feet, like the, the soles of my feet are a little bit dirty because I took my socks off for 10 minutes and walked around. Uh, Cause I have hard work for it. I sweep them all the time, but like, it is what it is. I sweep and I mop. But like, I took them off for like, you know, 10 minutes and like, was just walking around in my, in my, and like, I went on the patio with no socks on. And so like, it, that's going to be called Brody generating it up. So like, now, you know, like I'm Brody generating. Like, Hey, Audrey, what you doing? Brody generating. Oh, should take a shower. Not yet. You know what I mean? Like you're in a good place. Um, <laughs> so basically, I don't know what happens with Brody. Like he he has a wife who's trying to change him, trying to have a baby. They have some kind of they had an unconventional marriage. Like all of this was stuff that he shared, and then they get mad when other people are talking about it. And I'm like, you shared it though on your podcast. So everybody's talking. <laughs> And I believe that he and his wife ended up getting separated, but they were never actually married because they got married in Bali. They got married in a beautiful island somewhere. Howsoever, it was not a. It's never they like they never did legal paperwork here. That's what I know so far from the show. They didn't do legal paperwork in the states for that to be recognized as a legal union. So that happened. <laughs> Well, now you have a new term. You can just call it Brody Jennering. And then everybody will think that you're hip and you're cool and also depressed. I know. They're like, what's Brody Jennering? I'm like, I don't have to call it depression now because like, I don't want to. So yeah, who am I missing? We got to Brody. I'm a Spidey fan. I like Heidi. Heidi, oh, Heidi's back to trying to be a pop star. Oh, but guess what, y'all? I'm about to, in a little bit, I'm going to purchase the entire second season, which should be, it's like, it just started. I don't want to buy it episode by episode because each episode is like $3 and I'm not doing that. So I'm going to get the whole season and I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to watch it, right? I'm going to watch it. Um... Kristen's coming back. Kristen Cavallari. I know that, like, I know the real Kristen has issues. I'm talking about the Hills Kristen, okay? I'm talking about Laguna Beach Kristen. These are characters because they showed us at the end of the first Hills, the original Hills, that it was like a scripted show, basically. It's a scripted show. It's made, like, it's all made up. And now, you know, here we are in the Hills dot dot new beginnings. And I love me some Kristen Cavallari. Woo, whose birthday? I'm checking it. <laughs> wait, I'm missing whose birthday it is. Wait, wait, wait. Jeff, happy birthday. Happy 40. Happy 40. Happy 40. Happy 40. It only gets better, except for your body. That goes bad, but everything else is great. <laughs> um, it's Paramount, which is through Amazon, I think. I think if you have Amazon Prime, you can get Paramount. And on Paramount, you can watch the entire first season of, with a subscription on Paramount, you can watch the entire first season of the, of the Hills dot dot New Beginnings. I can't stop doing that now. I'm so sorry. Woo, birthdays. They say it's your birthday. It's not my birthday too. But happy birthday. Yeah, so it's a really good time. I just feel like in watching that, like we have three of the ladies have babies. So you have Heidi has a baby. Heidi has Gunner. I don't remember the name of Audrina's daughter. 
And then um, Sunny is the name of Whitney's Whitney's child. Um, and then Kristen, when Kristen comes back, Kristen has, I think, doesn't Kristen have two boys? Or does she have a boy and a girl? Kristen has two children, I think. And to this dot dot show. <laughs> Like, I love The Hills, y'all. I enjoyed it. And, like, if you kind of go back and forth, you just see a lot of stuff. Like, I I get mad that Audrina even got, like, trapped in, like, talking to, you know, Justin again. Because Justin pulled the same bullshit that he always pulled where he, like, tugs her in. Like, he invites her to a concert. And then, and, like, says he's going to scoop her up and all this stuff. And then he doesn't scoop her up. He tells her that she could park in his garage. Like, why? Why? So then she just gets an Uber because she's like, yeah, no, I'm not. I don't want to drive over there. Because he was like, oh, parking's getting kind of whatever. And like, so you can. And it's just like. But like, it's just, I don't know. I feel like he just is always kind of douchey. And I don't care if he settles down with watermelons. I don't remember her name. But I, listen, and when everybody saw, they were like. They were like, but the shirt was like, and it was like, bloop. So it was a whole to do. Um, <laughs> but I really liked those. And I'm going to have to like go all the way back. And he does. He plays a lot of mind games where he like kind of, and then he ends up spending all this time with Stephanie and it gets very weird. And Stephanie, this is why I don't like Stephanie because Stephanie just stirs shit up. She knows about how like, Audrina and Justin have history. So it's like, why are you even like, le like calling this man over to come to your house? You're not 16. You're calling this man. You're having him come to your house. You know, it's going to cause drama with Audrina by doing it, especially if you didn't call Audrina and be like, Hey, I'm having Justin come over. I'm having a hard time. He's going to come by and see me. She does not do that. And it just creates like a whole, a whole thing. And then Audrina and Stephanie end up like having like just a falling out, which I don't feel like they recovered from by the end. Like Stephanie was still like Audrey was still like uh because she she just brings too much drama to everything. Oh my gosh, I forgot. In the Hills dot dot new beginnings, we have a new player. We have two new players. We have Misha Barton from California. Here we come right back where we started from California. Okay, so here's the thing. Misha was on the OC. She had fame early. For those of you that don't know. Uh, and <laughs> why am I like this? Moving on. Fame early. And um, I don't know how she knows all these people, but they keep insisting that like, like Stephanie insists that she <laughs> that she's known Misha for a long time. They used to hang out. I don't remember it. I, I literally don't remember it at all. Point blank and period. Um, but Misha Barton is there and very awkward through most of it. Very strange. And then, hey, hey. <laughs> hi, Deandra. And then we also have some, Brandon, is his name Brandon Lee? His name is Brandon Lee. He's the son of Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. He is, not hot. I don't think he's hot. I'm sorry. I get that he's 22 years old. So like I'm 41 grow like, so um, but objectively, if I were also 22, I wouldn't find him hot. I don't know what happened there, but cause the thing is in the intro, he looks attractive, but then you see him in his real life and I'm just like, I don't know what happened. So it is just, it is just not a good time. So it's just like, he, he, um, not, but he has a relationship with this girl and she, but he's really well grounded. He does not drink and party like everybody else. He had a, a, a self admitted, um, an addiction problem at one point where he was just drinking way too much and all of that good stuff or bad stuff really. And so he doesn't drink in like this whole thing. He just like hangs out. He's just chill. He meets a nice girl. Um, and I don't know if y'all know, but there was like a whole kerfluffle between him, his dad and his dad's girlfriend. And it was a big deal at the time. I remember reading about this and like, they weren't on speaking terms for a while. And then Spencer, like, this is, a, this is what I'm telling you. Spencer 
had this way throughout the hills dot dot new beginnings of like trying to get people to mend fences and like get people to be friends and like not even be friends, just mend fences. Just like stop being angry at each other. Make everything be chill, which is the exact opposite of how he used to be. I feel like having a child and having like a supportive wife really helped him. I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Tommy Lee wasn't good looking. I think everybody thinks that Tommy Lee was good looking because he had the and tattoos and like greasy hair. But if you actually look at Tommy Lee, not hot. He's actually not a hot, a hot man. Not, not hot. Um, <laughs> sorry, Brandon Lee. Sorry, Tommy Lee. Hotness is subjective, and I don't find that attractive. So sorry. Pamela was very good looking. She's apparently a stickler for a lot of things too. So. Hold on, let me catch back up to it. So kerfuffle, <sighs> kerfuffle. This is gonna be the end because I'm, I'm gonna like lose my fa facilities after this. So he and his dad were on speaking terms and this is happening like on the show and Spencer really like encourages, encourages him to talk to like his dad. He's like, you should talk to him, you should call him, you should talk to your dad. And Brody does as well, but like Spencer's really there like just call your dad to talk to him. So he ends up calling his dad. They end up like working things out. But in the interim, this girl that he's dating just has some boundary issues. I don't think she has some attachment issues, I think, because when they become like exclusive or whatever, she doesn't understand and doesn't pay attention to the fact that Brandon is having some difficulties with trying to like communicate with his family and communicate with his dad and work this stuff out. And she's being very immature about it. And then on top of it, when he's like trying to go like meet with his dad and all this stuff, she's upset that he wouldn't call her back or whatever. And he's like, I'm trying to mend fences with my father and I'm spending time with my father. Like this needs to end. And then she gets like really kind of like, you need to make sure that you want to throw all this away. And I'm like, girl, it's been like two days. Let it go. She has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like these. Um, this one, these ones have not turned my, my, fingers green at all. And I've washed my hands with them on too. So I'm like, yes, snake rings. But I think that she has some issues. So like, he's the most grounded. It's like him and Whitney are very grounded. He's 22 years old. He has a big ass house, nice car, because I guess he models and he acts. Like in the show, he's in a movie with Irv Gotti that's directed by Irv Gotti. So like, we're gonna have to like on these lives, we're gonna have to start breaking down like episode by episode. And I'll have to start writing all this shit down so we can really like talk, oh my God, I love the hills. I love the hills. There's so many good things that happen. They got in so many fights, but not like cat fights like they used to where they were like screaming and throwing drinks. It was just like adult fights. And there's something about an adult fight where it's just like, <sighs> any who's it's, thank you for like being here for the declutter. Thank you for the after talk where we talked about the hills, that, that new beginnings. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we should probably be doing this again in about two weeks, two weeks, probably. We will see. It might be sooner. Who knows? Who knows? I don't actually like to set a schedule. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're real people. You can Google, <laughs> Google Brody Jenner, Google Kristen Cavalieri. I promise. <laughs> But I thank all of you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Um, join me for more random show talk and movie talk and whatever else we do, because that's who I am as a human. And, um, you know, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for yours all. Because if you don't take care of it, we're coming for yours. Until next time, XOXO. <laughs> I don't know why I get so giggling because I'm like looking at him, looking at y'all. Got the girl. <laughs>